Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to work on a napkin journal. This is what I use as a napkin journal. These are all the things I created until now. These are all napkins. Uh, I stick a napkin and I create a design around it, uh, generally with uh, acrylic paints. Uh, today I'm going to use this uh, cute uh, cactus uh, napkin because it seems like it's in trend somehow. I see cacti on uh, uh, clothes, uh, on furniture and everything. So I said I should join the trend and uh, make a journal with cacti. I'm trying to select uh, the um, designs that I like from here. I wish uh, the ones on a row were uh, the ones that I would want to put, but uh, Murphy's Law is never like that, so I need to uh, separate them one by one. I'm not uh, using uh, scissors because then uh, they will have uh, cut edges and I don't like it. I want the napkin to disappear into the page. That's why I'm tearing them up with my uh, hand. It's been a while I didn't put any video because, uh, you know, life is uh, sometimes different, uh, unexpected. Uh, I didn't have any time. Um, I wasn't in the country mostly. Uh, I needed to attend family issues uh, that I don't want to bore you with. But anyway, um, now I will have uh, more time so you will see more videos from me. Which is good news because I missed uh, creating as well. Uh, today's design will be uh, fairly simple uh, because in my napkin journal I don't want any bulk. Uh, so I'm not using any fancy tools like uh, modeling paste or anything. I just want uh, to do some color combination, uh, the napkin to disappear into the page and uh, complete it uh, with some other visuals. I uh, collected all my uh, cacti at one corner of the page and uh, I'm now applying uh, gesso for the rest of the page because I'm going to use acrylic paints and uh, I used uh, matte medium to stick all my uh, napkin. Now I'm going to use distress paints uh, to go uh, around the cacti and uh, paint the background uh, so that all this napkin blends into my page. I'm going to use distress paints uh, because uh, I have a lot of colors of those so I can choose. You can use any acrylic paint, it doesn't matter. Um, this is Twisted Citron. You will see the colors uh, I'm using uh, while I'm using them on the screen. I will uh, use shades of green anyway uh, for all these uh, plants to disappear into the page because they, are, they have shades of green themselves. I'm really going as I paint, uh, seeing what happened on the page and what should I do. Um, I'm using my fingers so that I can reach the little areas. I don't care so much if the paint comes on the cacti, it's uh, okay. It will be an abstract uh, look anyway and uh, it doesn't matter so much. It doesn't look uh, bad anyway if there's any paint on the cactus as well. I'm going to use a bit uh, darker shades uh, to just uh, mark the edges. I'll stop there. Uh, I'm using a stencil from Crafters Workshop uh, to generate uh, the rest of the design. I was looking through my stencils and uh, I saw this shape. I thought uh, they could be some kind of shape um, holding flowers. You will see in a second how I designed it. I'm using a Distress Oxide uh, ink to just go through it. Uh, you don't need to have oxide, you can use any ink, uh, any paint really, it doesn't matter. It was just uh, on my eyesight to be honest, this uh, distress ink, uh, that's why I'm using and 
the color somehow matches uh, so it was the first thing I grabbed I'm just uh, trying to make the circles in different uh, sizes so I'm just going over it uh, according to which size I want and uh, I think that's it it's enough and when I was looking I can actually use these to create some interest as well especially on the borders uh, it kind of creates a frame uh, as well and uh, look it looks uh, more interesting uh, there are more elements on it so now I'm going to create my red elements I need more red on the other side of the page because there are red flowers on the plants so I'm using this distress paint again uh, on a piece of cardstock and I used my Martha Stewart uh, punch uh, that has uh, different sizes of flowers uh, to make my flowers um, it's a really easy way of creating uh, little flowers uh, I love these punches uh, very versatile you can use them over and over again so I think it's worth the investment from my point of view and I'm going to stick these flowers inside my uh, designs this uh, shape circle shape that I created with the stencil uh, to make them circles with flowers uh, I don't know it doesn't have any meaning but it looks nice and I'm using my red marker you can use any marker any pencil pen doesn't matter I'm using a ruler because uh, for sure I'm not going to make a straight line I'm so lacking this talent uh, I make a disaster normally stamping uh, the quotations so this is the most secure way for me uh, for the line to be straight and uh, this way they will look like uh, some flower balls hanging from the uh, air now looking at this I decided it's too white so I'm going to use this uh, twisted citron uh, which is a lime green basically um, to go over the white areas uh, with my hand because I'm not applying it all through the design and I have this ink that I don't want to spoil as well so I'm applying it lightly and I found this uh, uh, sentiment in one of my uh, scrapbook papers that I used uh, and the colors go very well with the design that's the only reason I chose it and I didn't want to I felt lazy for stamping to be honest um, so I just took it and I'm going to stick it on the page it says grateful admire uh, heart lovely forever I don't know what it means uh, but uh, the colors go with the page now it's time for splashes to create cohesiveness of the page so I'm using this dark green uh, to splash all over the page uh, so uh, now it has unity and the last thing I decided to do is to use some stickers in the middle of the flowers so I chose a light uh, again lime greenish uh, tone uh, this is how I keep my stickers by the way and uh, I chose another uh, red color to give more flowers to the plants so I'm just going to use this in the middle of the flowers which will be lime green and then I will use these to give more uh, sort of flowers to my cacti, cacti. I think I'm done here I love the colors and uh, I quite like the uh, hanging flowers uh, and how the cacti blended with the rest of the page I hope you like it too if you do please don't forget to hit the like button or leave a comment subscribe to my channel Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.